Most people in Grand Community only hear their voices, we don't see their faces. Posted this thing so that we'll see the face of the elder statesman, the famous elder statesman. Listen to what he got to say about our country. And but you know, coming away uh, this morning to show gratitude over your eulogies to me concerning my interview on Global TV concerning the state of the nation. Um, to be frank with you, what I said was the fact. And from all the messages that you people sent to me, I discovered that I was speaking the minds of the masses. My own prayer is that the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, should listen to me and heed my advice. Yes, of course, he had a Council of State meeting and they passed a vote of confidence on him. I didn't expect anything different in a way. Because our father, the president of this country, Senator Ahmed Bola Tinubu, said he inherited a sick economy. Who are the ones that made the economy sick? Of course, the past leaders. There was no how they would come to blame the president. If they blame the president, they will definitely have a share in the blame. Also, what they need to do simply was to do a cover up. Yes, you are doing well, you are doing well, you are doing well. Why won't they pass a vote of confidence on him? I didn't expect anything different. But the reality is the issue. Is what will take us forward. When you see the truth and you approach the truth the way it is, that is what will make this Nigeria good. Not people coming, they say, oh, go on, go on, go on, you, can, you are correct. Just like in the time of Ahab in the Bible that I preach, when Ahab would go for war, all the prophets he had, they came, oh yeah, go, go, the Lord is with you, the Lord is with you, go, the Lord is with you. Whereas the Lord was not with him. Jehoshaphat, whom he invited to accompany him to the war, said, is there no other prophet here? And Ahab said, only one is remaining, but I hate him. Because he does not prophesy good concerning me. Is it a good concerning you you are looking for or the truth? I am here to speak the truth. I will not speak the good concerning anybody. If you are not doing good, I will not speak good concerning you. If you are doing good, I will speak good concerning you. If you are doing the contrary, you will have what befits you. But I stand here and now to say that the country is not doing well because the people are in abject poverty, excruciating pain. They are going through hardship. If we tell ourselves the truth, so many people cannot feed twice in a day. Even this twice in a day, I'm talking about good meals. Some people can hardly have a one good meal in a day. While there are so many other people who are moving on some closely. And as I had said earlier, even if you jack up the pump price of oil to 10,000 naira per liter, a lot of the rich people in this country they will still conveniently buy the poor. Whereas the poor, even if you bring down the price of fuel to 500 naira per liter, they will still find it difficult buying it with tears gushing down their cheeks. My own prayer is that as the message gets to our father, let him reconsider his time and walk on the pump price 
Let him give, let him not give money to the to the senators to give us. It will not come to us. Let him not give money to reps members to give us. It will not come to us. Let him not give money to the ministers to give us. It will not come to us. Let him not give money to the governors to give us. It will not come to us. Our father himself, he knows. Ahmed Bola Tinubu. That the leaders in this country are not honest. And that was why he made the move that local government allocations should no longer pass through the governors. If he trusted